Awesome. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to pivot a little bit, keep it on the kid theme, though. You might not be able to get a summer job doing Broadway musicals, but if you're looking for a possible job opportunity as a youth here in Jacksonville, the Kids Hope Alliance can help with that. Last summer, we hired, or we helped facilitate the hiring of about 422 teenagers. Next, this summer, we really want to hire a thousand teenagers, and we need everyone in Jacksonville support. Every business owner, if they could hire one child or one teenager, it would really help us out. CEO of Kids Hope Alliance, Joseph Peppers, wants businesses that get involved with his organization's youth hiring program to offer a big picture experience to kids they take on. We don't want children to, to, to come into a job and feel like that they gotta be a gopher. We put children in a place where they can really thrive and do a job that they can grow into. And so, in some cases, you, you might get an intern this summer that you can hire five years from now when they graduate from college. And so we want really, we, we look at it as a talent pipeline that we start building uh, this summer and then we'll, that we'll continue to build over the next the handful of years that we're here. He explains the benefit of youths working and what KHA hopes they take away from the experience. Children that have jobs when they're younger, they get like a really strong sense of self-efficacy. Like I can do this, I can work, I can earn an income. Uh, and and that, that, is a, that is a tremendous benefit once they graduate from high school, they recognize that they have the, the, the confidence and the ability to, to, to work as a team, to communicate, be professional. We're gonna do some job training, we're gonna do some coaching on character, and we really want them to see the world as a bigger place than maybe um, just their, their small community and, and see these sort of endless opportunities that can be out there for them. He talks about one of his first jobs and how that training shaped his mindset for future career opportunities. I was a caddy and then I worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I was like, I know that I'm going to college because I, I really want to make sure that I don't uh, work here. But, but, but a job like that is a great place to to cut your teeth on like how like what does it mean to earn a living and like work hard and stand on your feet and uh, and work as a team so like we're really super excited that we know that we're gonna have a tremendous number of partners this summer and and we're hoping for that we have more partners than we even thought that we might. Well, my first job was Taco Bell and the summer I spent working in a lumberyard definitely ensured that I would focus on college. This TV thing, a byproduct of that extended education but I had no idea what direction I wanted to travel. Joseph says becoming a part of this program can offer some career insight. There's 17 career clusters, so like in some cases, some kids might love doing work with their hands, right? Can they do, can they learn how to be some trade skills, maybe being a mechanic or HVAC or plumbing or electricity or carpentry? And some kids, they really like have a penchant for reading. Like I know we, the library hired uh, a handful of children last year. Uh, and so in, in uh, a couple of the hospitals, um, um, UF Health hired, hired some students, some interns. And those, those children literally see the world different than their peers. And so that is, that is exactly what we want and that is exactly what we believe is a great way to, to, to build a, a, a strong workforce in Jacksonville. He has held conversation with youths who have come through the Kids Hope Alliance program and shares how those chats keep him motivated to connect and inspire youth going forward. In talking with teenagers, one of the things I love is just that the, the sparkle in their eye, right? Like you can see certain kids that get exposure and they, see, they, they just see the world differently. They just sort of see that there's greater possibility, um, even though they might come from a bleak situation. Maybe their mom works two or three jobs, maybe their dad's not there. But they, they just, they simply just see the world and have more hope. And, and the one thing that we feel like we, we provide is hope. And the more children that grow up in situations that might, where they might be economically disadvantaged, um, but they have the emotional resilience and they have an end in mind that says that they can be a world changer, they could be a councilman, they could be a, a mayor, they could be a lawyer, a doctor. Whatever that is, like, we want them to believe it. We want them to have that vision for themselves so they can go nail it and be awesome. I'm Rance Adam for River City Live. If you have a high school age youth or you are a business seeking to hire some high schoolers, the Kids Hope Alliance is a one-stop spot for that search. Just go to kidshopealliance.org for more information.